Hello, my name is Simone Caporale. I work at the Artesian Bar of the Langham Hotel. And today I've been called here to tell you a little story. When I started to work in a club, in a beach club in Italy, in Lake Como, where I'm from, I was 16 years old. And I was working the floor where all the tables of the VIP area was. So every night we used to serve cocktails. And after a certain point of the evening, we start to sell a champagne. And that's where I start to practice how to serve champagne, how to push champagne on the table, on the very low table of the club, in the middle of the darkness with lights and people moving all around. So after a few years I was working there and obviously getting confident with the environment and with the regular customer, with the habitué, uh, every night after a few bottles of champagne that I was serving, this regular customer used to tell me, Simone, why don't you open it with a sabrage? But I had no clue where to start from. So I went back home, the, obviously, the day after. I started to check on my internet what, I, what, what this sabrage was, because I, I didn't know even the, what does it mean. And I realized it was the way, the fank, fancy way to open it, no? Cutting the neck, the top of the neck of the bottle. First thing I did, I got my Vespa, I went in a supermarket. So I bought six bottles of Prosecco, the cheap one. I chill it at home, and I started to practice in my garden, in the backyard of the garden, with a the, with the knife, with the, my kitchen knife. So when I got confident, obviously, I was still working in the club. And one night I said, I need to be ready. And I, tonight I have to do it. Imagine, inside of the club, full of people, this little guy, no, 17, 18 years old, no bear, still I don't have it, but okay. So you need a few little things to know, very simple, to make sure you're gonna do it a perfect sabrage, okay? First thing you need is in a champagne bottle, obviously. And the first thing you need to do, obviously, is already in the fridge, so it needs to be cold, ready to be served. You have to remove all the foil, all the paper, of all the neck, not just the, part, the top part, but as much as you can, okay? You have to clean it, okay? So without any paper. What you have to do then, you have to put it upside down in ice and water to make sure that the neck is going to be very, very, very cold. Unless your fridge is very cold, but you have to be careful because they might freeze or explode. So when they ask you the bottle, you put it upside down and after five minutes we'll be ready, okay? So you have to remove the paper, first step, okay? And you dip it upside down in ice and water. Maybe you put a bit of salt because salt, ice and water they're gonna make the temperature much lower, eh? so you're gonna go minus a few degrees. So this bottle has been here already five, seven, ten minutes maybe. And obviously, as you can touch, the neck is very cold, it's freeze. Next step you have to do, you have to gently remove the cage. You have to remove it and then tie it up again on the second rim, okay? So when you sort it, okay, the cage will go away with a, with a piece of glass, which is better, it's more safe. So you just have to open it. You lift it up a little bit. Obviously, you imagine you are in the club, you are still in the pantry, no? you see where you prepare the bottle. So the guests see, still, they don't see what's, what, what, what is going on. So as you can see now, the cage is on the second rim, okay? Now, the secret is to make a perfect cut, perfect sword, Sorting, sabrage. The bottle is obviously made of glass and there are two welding points, okay? So when they produce the bottle, they just weld the two pieces of glass. In fact, in both sides, if you touch, you can feel a line, okay? A welding line. And that's the line you have to follow to do a perfect sabrage. If you go out of this line, the bottle might explode or maybe you can cut the whole neck. So you can cut yourself, you're gonna go champagne everywhere, it's gonna be a mess, okay? And with the consequence of a complaint and a free bottle of champagne at the club for the guest. Obviously, you have to get used to, and what I used to do in the club, when I was going to the table, I started to talk with the guest. I don't want to do like this, that you just, you just look for it, no? It looks a bit unprofessional, it looks that you're not sure what was going on. So in the meanwhile, I was circling with him, with my fingers, I was touching the bottle, massaging, and in the meanwhile, you know, I said, good evening, sir, how are you tonight? And I was fine, the line, okay? Sometimes there's a part of the bottle which has the line slightly bigger. It doesn't matter, but just pick out the one you feel more sure with, okay? So you can use anything to do the sabrage. You can use a big machete, but you can get in trouble, obviously. 
You can use a little knife, a bar spoon, a coffee spoon. Better thing to use a bar blade because everybody has in the pocket. But you can also use, if you like, the buckle of a belt. Okay, it doesn't matter what you do, but it's gonna work. So just follow the line, okay? Be gentle, don't be aggressive, just as you are doing a caress, okay? And it goes. Salute.